Since I was a kid, I have always been collecting trading cards. It all started when my dad, when I was six, sitting in the floor of our childhood home, looking at the different trading cards, his trading cards, his baseball cards, and it never clicked with me then, but it does now. That joy, that happiness in his face as he was looking on the floor, sharing his passion with me, it didn't click then, it does now, of course, as I grew older. As I grew older, I got introduced to Pokemon cards when I was nine years old. I got my first Pokemon trading card and everything changed. At that moment, I knew then what I needed to be. I needed to be the very best and it would be no one in my way that would stop me from being the very best. Throughout my childhood into my young adulthood, I continued to collect trading cards, not just Pokemon. No, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Cardfight Vanguard, there were so many, and there's so many more. Digimon, you can name it, there are countless trading card games out there. I was so close to greatness. With Yu-Gi-Oh, I picked up four of the five pieces of Exodia. I captured so many great shiny Pokemon cards, gold stars, and so much more. As I transcended into my younger, late teen years and getting into my early 20s, I began to create content on the internet. The wonderful internet that we all enjoy, where I began to try to fit this mold I did not fit into. I wanted to be those creators that I so greatly admired, so looked up to. I emulated their videos, their production value. I strived, I strived so hard to be what they were, to be the very best. At the end of it all, I've poured so much blood, sweat, and tears into my channel, into this very channel to make it the great channel that it is today. But I had to step back and look because unfortunately, I was being something that I am not. I was trying to fit the mold that I am not, trying to be other creators rather than stepping into a light of my own to shed light on something that I've always enjoyed, to get back to that first moment when my father sat in the floor with me with his cards and showed me the love, the passion, the joy. So with today's video, we break our molds. We become something greater than we've ever been here on the channel. Today we're opening up Shattered Stars, the Elestral's subscription service. And with it, there comes this opportunity at getting something super stellar out of it. And moving forward, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me how great I try to be, who likes my videos, what format I try to format myself into. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, songs will be sung and stories will go unfinished. But I guarantee you, when I walk in the room, it doesn't matter where I sit at, at the table. I know I'm not the best. I'm the very best. What is up, Lightning Squad? And welcome back to Neighbor Games. I am your host, Neighbor. And today, trainers, as mentioned in that promo video at the beginning, you can't tell I'm a huge fan of wrestling. I love, I love it. I love it as much as I love the TCG now. So I... Uh, I wanted to do something to kind of like break away from everything that I have been. We're going to start a bunch of brand new journeys here. We've already started, you know, last one of the last videos we had, we had the Nostalgics opening. It was really, really fun. And um, if you can't tell, there's an Illustrals box back there. It's not my first edition box. It's on its way. But today I did want to open up Shattered Stars. Shattered Stars is, of course... The subscription service for Elestrals, uh, I've got month one and month two here that we're going to be opening up. There are chances for some stellar cards, quite literally, I I'm, I'm hoping, 
I really want to get it. Actually, we're manifesting here. We're done with hoping. We're going to manifest. We are getting a stellar out of today's packs. Again, Illustrals is a game that was created Kickstarter last year. Did phenomenal. Uh, we've got the Kickstarter box. We did that. There'll be a link up in the iCard, of course. You can go ahead and check that out. I'm going to stop fidgeting with my hair. My voice has just came back and I'm already starting to lose it again. So I don't want to go too much further without doing that. Um, I hope you enjoy this journey, uh, the new journey that we're taking with our channel, with Neighbor Games and the Lightning Squad. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the join stuff, you know, the bell, like the video. Let's get into this. We're going to go ahead with Shattered Stars Month 1. All right, so we got Shattered Stars Month 1 and Month 2. Month 1 did have a promo card, and I've seen a little bit about like what's in here, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I don't have a play mat today. I just kind of wanted to go play matless, uh, show off the wood grain. It was just, just something being a little bit different here. Um, how are you supposed to open these? Okay, that's one thing that didn't change is neighbor doesn't know how to open anything. I found it. I found it, everybody. All right, let's get it all out. I want to save that promo card for just a second here because it is, it is, I know it's going to be beautiful. So we have three packs of Shattered Stars. This is Thunder Month. The Zapter packs, I love them. There's a lot you can pull out of there. There are, I believe, six holo cards that are special that you can't get anywhere else that you could possibly get. But look at this promo. This stained glass Stratomoth. I love it. I love the stained glass. This was apparently also a um, suggestion by a community member, which we've already talked about things that I like about Elestrals, and the fact that the community gets to say in a lot of the stuff too, is really fun for me. So we will definitely sleeve that up once I open it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the packs slightly on there, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, these packs are thick, which is always a good sign. All right, so I'm, I don't know if there's any special uh, way to open these at all. But here we have a Toxin. There is a Stellar Toxin. That's one of the cards we're looking for. Spark it. Uh, Miss Lycavolt also, sorry. Quackle, we love Quackle. Astrabit, I like this artwork for Astrabit. That's really nice. And we got the Hollow Full Art Zapter. Let's go. And then of course Zapter as well. But this Full Art Zapter, I will definitely take that. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve for it real quick. So not, unfortunately not the seller on the first pack. That's fine. That is still so cool. I love it. I love it very much. Happy with it because Zapter's my favorite spirit. Obviously, I like Thunder Spirits. You know, you know me. Lightning Squad, it all works out. Pack number two of month one. Here we go. So it looks like we'll have a Zapter back here. Is that right? I'm gonna go ahead and just, yeah. We got a Zapter. I like that alternate Zapter. We got Toxin, Lycavolt. This is gonna be very similar. Yes, Spark It, Quackle, Astrabit, and yo, let's go! Stain Glass Voltempest. <clears throat> Told you, I was still losing my voice. That was another card I really was hoping that we would get. Oh, the Stain Glass cards look so good, and now we have both Voltempest and the Stratomoth. Maybe Stars. Chatter Stars Month 2 will also treat us this well. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Let's go. Not wait to see what's in this last pack. Pack number three. Last chance. I really want the Full Art Stellar Sonic War. If I'm being absolutely honest. That's that's the card I would like to pull out of this. If if I if if the gods are listening, Zeus, if you're listening. I, I love the statue, Zeus. But, uh, okay. I was like, can I get in here, please? But if you're listening, I would really, really like the one out of 10 stellar Sonic War. We got Toxin. We already know what we got. We got Like a Volt. Spark it. Quackle. Astrabit. And, you know what? It's fine. I like it. Zeus, you heard me. I wanted something great. It's not the Stellar Zapdor, but it is uh, Stellar Sonicor. But Zeus, the, the statue Divine Rune, that looks so great. I I, I couldn't be happier. I'm, I, you know, 
I could be happier with the Stellar, but this, this is still really great. This is really great. Let's go. And then we're gonna show off all of month one's pulls here, just as soon as I get that, and then we'll get right into month two, which I just got in the other day. So <laughs> I lost my voice. It was originally gonna be just these three in this video, but here we go, we have six packs. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That, so good. Those look so good. All right, month two, here we go. And I know where we open it now. I paid attention. Month two, I believe Stratomoth is the stellar one out of 10. And there's an Aeromare that is a stellar. There's 99 of those. So we're hoping. We're hoping. We're opening. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to mix them up. Here we go. Month two. How are you going to do me? Are you going to treat me well? Month one treated me well. Didn't give me the stellar. but So it'd be something... It'd be, it'd be absolutely stellar if that happened here. All right, month two. Month two. All right, we've got the Hydrake here. Let's go. Aramare. Glidesdale. Exaltair. Heliquaris. And there's a Divine Rune Aeolus. I will take that too. Oh, and then of course, Lycris art like Chris we love that oh that's beautiful too you know what statue divine runes I can get behind it so hard let's go and I do believe at, at the time of filming this video that um, you can still sign up for shattered stars I do know that they said that if you don't sign up before this this ends that it'll probably be month nine before you could get back in on it so i was very excited that i was able to get back in and get this second month already pulling some fire out of here we got aeromare glidesdale exaltair which i love exaltair it's such a great it's, it's such a great elestral eloquaris and res uh, resting your laurels i was like resenting your laurels no res resting your laurels nice let's go Exclusive hollow, you can't get anywhere else. All for it. I love these, and they're, they're just so good. There's a thickness to them that no other trading card I've opened has, has yet to, to reach that same level of thickness and greatness. All right, last pack. Gods, if you're hearing me, I would love to get a stellar right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Lycoris out. There we go. All right, we've got a Hydrake here. Six more cards. Aramare. Glidesdale. We know what we're getting all the way up till this one. And our last pull for today, the last chance at something stellar until our first edition box comes in. In three, two, one. Yo! I'm actually not too upset about that. Stained Glass Pen Terror, let's go. Uh, no repeat, so that's great. No Stellar, not great. But I have all of the Stained Art Glass, uh, Stained Glass Art <laughs> cards now. So that, that's, that's something, I'm happy about that. This looks so good. All right, again, trainers, if you're interested in grabbing some Elestrals, the Shattered, like I said, right now the Shattered Stars uh, subscription is still available. You can go and sign up for that every month at the beginning of the month. You're going to get a new pack of cards, a uh, three pack of cards that are going to be, uh, have some of these amazing artworks in them that you're not going to get anywhere else, you know, unless you get them aftermarket. So you might as well get it, get it, get it cheaper, get it right to you, get it yourself. Um, and you have a chance of getting a stellar. We didn't get a stellar today. Next time next time we got a first edition it's coming very soon but in the meantime thank you all so very much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when i post awesome content just like this and thank you all very much for watching you're all super stellar and i will see you real soon catch you on the flip side